Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new then hello my name is Kate. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you everything that is in my everyday bag. This video has been so highly requested and I'm really looking forward to filming it because it's something a little bit different to my normal vlogs and hauls so yeah I think it'll be fun. Uh, grab yourself a cup of tea because there's actually a lot in the bag I'm going to show you and without further ado let's get into the video okay so the bag that I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Louis Vuitton Bout Chapeau Souple my GCSE French clearly has not come in handy at all because I cannot pronounce the name of my own bag but anyway this bag is a new addition to my designer bag collection and it has very quickly become one of my absolute faves in fact I think this is probably in my top two just because it is so easy to wear on a day-to-day -day basis I just find whatever outfit you wear it matches and what I really like is how casual it looks all of my other designer bags are very formal and smart looking and I find this one although it does obviously look nice and smart I just find that it looks so much better with your casual outfits like jeans and stuff like that the main material is made out of like a coated canvas so I'm never worried about scratching it and it's so easy to clean you just literally just wipe any like marks off so yeah overall I just think it's a really great day-to-day -day bag because I'm not precious with it and yes it just goes of every single outfit that I wear. So I will go into all the details of the bag very shortly, but first of all, I'll tell you guys sort of how I got it, where I got it from, all of those details. I have had my eye on this bag ever since it came out in, I think it was 2018 winter. When I first saw it, I just fell in love. I loved all of the little details. I really liked how it was round as well because it's just a bit different to your everyday bag. And I was actually looking at photos from last summer of all my outfits, and I was just looking, kind of thinking that my designer bags often didn't quite go with a lot of my outfits especially the more casual ones so this year I was on the lookout for a bag that would just go with all of my really casual and summer outfits and I remember seeing this one back in 2018 and I was like yes this is perfect so originally I went into the Louis Vuitton store on Bond Street and to be completely honest the customer service was kind of awful there which is such a shame because I find that all the other Bond Street stores their customer service is amazing but um, I went in and I told him the bag that I would like which was originally the smaller version of this I've got a slightly smaller version so he's like yep okay no worries I get that for you so he went and got it for me from the back and he actually gave me this one which was the bigger size and I was like oh that's lovely tried it on and everything and I was like I kind of want to compare it to a smaller size just to see which one will work better for me and he kind of looks at me like what are you talking about you stupid girl and he was like there is no smaller size and I was like are you sure like I think there is I've definitely seen it online and he was like no no no, no there's no smaller size so I was like okay knowing that there was a smaller size so the woman who helped me her name was Anna and she had a colleague called uh, I think her name was said could be wrong but anyway they were both so lovely so helpful really patient with me because obviously when you're buying a designer bag you really want to get it right and I was so torn between this size and the smaller size anyway I'm so glad that I ended up going for this one because I can fit so much you're about to see obviously when I actually get into showing you what's in my bag but um, you literally fit so much in here and the smaller bag it doesn't come with this tag and this tag here I just think is a feature that really makes the bag look so much more expensive. The smaller one as well, it kind of looked fake and obviously it wasn't fake because it was in the store. But I think because it didn't have all of the detailing around it, it just looked really plain. So yeah, I'm delighted that I went for this one. Anyway, I will now show you guys all of the details on the bag. So like I showed you guys before, it has this really lovely tag here with the little Louis Vuitton logo. And then at the back you have room just to put like any details you want to, but I personally haven't. And then it's got the lovely monogram print that Louis Vuitton have and then the strap I absolutely love because it is adjustable which is so handy because sometimes I kind of want to have it quite short other times I want to have it like longer when I want it crossbody so it's really versatile and especially if you're short I find that being short often with bags especially YSL bags they just come so long on me and I always have to get them adjusted so yeah I love the fact that this is so easily adjustable you just unbuckle it and pop it in wherever you want and then the back has this really little handy pocket here and I actually use this pocket to keep my mask in I've learned that I have to keep one mask in every bag otherwise I will 100% forget my mask I have spent so much money on just getting like these disposable masks because I just forget them so yeah I just keep this one in here constantly so I never go without it and then at the top here you have two zips and a lock as well you don't have to put the lock on but I just think it looks really cute 
Um, the lock also does come with some keys and the keys come in a really cute little bag, which oh God, I'll show you guys actually. Okay, there we go, really cute little bag. And then the keys are just the most adorable things ever. But to be honest, I'm never gonna lock this bag because why would you lock it? I can understand locking like a big suitcase or something, but that is too much faff. So I just keep them in here. Anyway, that is a little bit of background to the bag. And now I'm gonna show you what I keep inside of it. So normally with my bags, I will empty them at the end of the day because I do mix them up a lot, especially in the winter. But the last two weeks, I think this is probably the only bag that I've actually used. So yeah, this has got two weeks worth of stuff in it that I haven't emptied. But yeah, it's not gonna be like a surprise what's in it. I obviously know what's in here. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this in any order. I'm just gonna take things out as they come to me. First up, we have my sunglasses. Normally, if they were a nice pair of sunglasses or an expensive pair of sunglasses, I would put them in a case. But these, I think these were like four pounds, so I'm not too fussed. And I just find that sunglasses cases just take up so much room. So these ones are from Pretty Little Thing. I've had them for years and I just love them. And considering I don't put them in a case, I'm not very careful of them, they actually don't have any scratches on them, which I think is pretty good going. Um, we have a receipt for Wagamamas. By the way, how good is it at the moment that the government are doing the 50% off like restaurants thing i think that's insane and i definitely want to be using it and abusing it as much as i can this august next up my retainer case this literally comes with me everywhere i go now and sometimes when i do forget it it's such a pain because i have to put the retainer in like a tissue i get really paranoid with it somebody's gonna think it's rubbish and put it in the bin in fact that actually happened to my friend freya killen you guys probably follow her already but uh, i remember she was told me a story about somebody chucking her retainer in the bin and her having to go through the bin so yeah, don't want that to happen. So I take my retainer case around with me. Um, I have a Tangle Teaser. This is one of their mini ones, which is just really handy because obviously you can kind of take it everywhere you go. And yeah, I haven't been using any other brush other than a Tangle Teaser for probably the last three years. I just think they are amazing. And yeah, I probably brush my hair like five times a day. So this comes everywhere I go. Next up, we have some Dr. Paw Paw. I feel like this is one of those products that if you know about it, you know about it. It is honestly just the best thing ever. It's a lifesaver. I'm multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pore pore for lips, skin, hair, beauty finishing and cuticles. So I tend to mainly use this as a lip balm but you can literally use it anywhere. Sometimes if my elbows feel a bit dry, I'll pop it on my elbows. You can put it on your cuticles. And if I'm having my hair in like a sleek bun, sometimes I'll just put a bit of this on my hands and just like smooth down any flyaways. So it's just got so many different purposes in one. So it's great to have in any handbag. I've got a few of these now, which I just kind of have dotted around the place and I love them. All right, next up we have my card holder this card holder is so cute it is from lrm goods and it's got my initials in gold here i keep like my most used cards here at the back so i've got my business bank card my personal bank card i've got my driving license look how young i look i think i must be in year seven i've got no idea why this is on my driving license but that's fine. I've also got a post office drop and go card. If you're like me and I'm constantly dropping like 10 things to the post office, these are amazing. You just top these up and then fill in a form and drop everything you want at the front of the post office and they do it all for you. It opens up like this and you have more things inside. I have a London Grace card. That's where I get my nails done sometimes. It's like a loyalty card thing. I've got my Nectar card. Uh, for when I shop at Sainsbury's and I've got a old key card from the Royal Horse Guards Hotel. You also have some room here and in here I have one Topshop voucher and another Topshop voucher that I didn't know I had so that's nice. Anyway yeah that's everything in my little card holder. I have my AirPods which are just the best things ever. I feel like once you get AirPods you won't go back to like normal headphones. Yeah I absolutely love them and I just think they're so cute. I love the case. I love the way it's all so neat and tidy. Yeah, these are perfect for like running around London. I often will listen to like a nice audiobook on them or music. Okay next up we have my keys obviously everyone's gonna take their keys around with them it's like what everyone has in their bag so i have little mercedes fob that's my car key i have a my waitrose card thing which you pick up like points and stuff off and then i've got my fob and my key for my apartment i should really get like a nice cute keychain but um yeah i haven't got around to it so 
They're just quite boring at the moment. Next up is some paracetamol. Paracetamol? Paracetamol. I tend just to try and take these around everywhere I go, just in case. You never know if you're going to get a headache or period pains, whatever. It's just nice to have these as a little backup. Next up, I have a wire for charging. Um, there should be a battery pack. Oh yeah, a battery pack as well. So I will carry these around wherever I go because as you guys can probably imagine, I am on my phone 24 seven, seeing as it is my job. So this battery pack is actually so pretty as far as battery pack goes anyway. This one is from the Ideal of Sweden and it's just really like a nice size. It kind of fits into whatever bag. And then this is just like my Apple lead thing. And yeah, I think it's probably give me like a good, like two charges maybe. Um, and then I'll just charge it overnight. I've actually got a couple of different battery packs that I have on rotation, just in case. Next up, this is what everyone needs to have in their bags. And if you don't, you are lousy. Everyone needs to have their antibacterial hand sanitizer. I have got through so many of these in the last couple of months, obviously with everything going on. Whenever I go out, I probably am hand sanitizing every hour or so, probably even less than that. Um, it is obviously really handy because I'm not sure about other places in the UK, but London literally has hand sanitizer wherever you go. Like tube stations have it, any shop, any restaurant, everyone just has it. So um, yeah, and this one isn't anything special or interesting. This one actually smells like watermelons, which is kind of random. It doesn't like look like it's gonna smell like watermelon, but it does and it's lovely. I don't know about you guys, but wherever I go in London now, I'm kind of like a bit of a hand sanitizer snob because you'll go to some places and it will smell lovely. And then you go to other places and it will literally just smell like you're putting a load of tequila on your hands. And that just gives me post-traumatic stress from my nights out when I was younger. I just, ugh, it's horrible. Really randomly, I went to a restaurant the other day. It was, uh, where was it? Boccaccino's, I think that's how you say it. Um, and they had hand sanitizer on the table and it smelled like the nicest perfume ever. And I was really tempted to ask if I could buy it off them, but I didn't because I thought that was kind of embarrassing. If you guys have any favorite hand sanitizers, which smell amazing, like not really fruity, more like a kind of like perfume OD kind of smell, um, then do let me know because yeah, this one isn't really interesting. Okay, we are getting quite far through. We've only got a couple of things left. And next up we have two hair bands. So I've got this one, which is like one of those invisible bubble ones, which comes in really handy. And then it's got like a normal one as well because I'm always using hair bands for obviously my hair, but I'm also constantly using them for things like, like if my jeans are loose, I will just like use a hairband and somehow make them tighter. There is actually so much you can do with a hairband. And yeah, when I don't have one, I really do know about it. <laughs> okay, cool. So that is everything in the main compartment of my bag. And then I'll show you guys afterwards, but there's like basically a little pocket here. And I'll just pop like little things that I'll go to grab throughout the day in here because it's like nice and accessible and handy. First thing is some chewing gum always have chewing gum. When we're out with all of our friends, I am the go-to girl for chewing gum because I will always have them no matter what. Because I think especially now with my retainers, I'm really kind of conscious of keeping my mouth clean. And I feel like when you're out and you can't brush your teeth, these are really good for kind of just cleaning your mouth to a certain extent. So yeah, I think I probably keep one of these in every single bag I own, along with like hair bands, hand sanitizer. I just have them separately, just so it's something that I never forget. We have my favorite lip combo ever. I've been using this lip combo since time began, probably. It is my NYX liner in the shade Leon and gloss in the shade Madeline. It's just the perfect combo. It's what I've got on now. And again, I've just got loads of these in all of my different bags and in my car, literally everywhere because it's just the best combo ever. And I don't feel like my makeup looks right until I've got these on. Okay, and then finally, I've got this cool little device, which I purchased from Amazon. And you basically decant your perfume into this. Perfume is another thing that I will never go without. And if I do forget it, I just don't feel myself. And I like to keep it topped up throughout the day. And obviously I don't want to be carrying around a huge bottle in my bag because that's not convenient and it will take up most of the bag. I ordered three of these of Amazon. I think there was one pink, one silver and something else. It's really clever. Basically, you there's a little hole at the bottom here and then you take off the top of your perfume and you kind of pump it in and then yeah, it comes in a little very handy size and then it's got a little spritz at the end here. So it's super easy to use. The only annoying thing is, is that Jo Malone perfumes, you can't actually take off the top. So I have to use this one for perfumes, but that's fine. And these are also amazing for traveling because obviously with a hundred milliliter 
restriction thing. These just save you so much space. I've just found some of these as well, which were tucked right in the pocket. So these are from Casetify, and they're basically a cleansing wipe to sanitize your phone and like a dry wipe as well, just to like dry it all off. I use these all the time because there's something about phones that really weird me out just because you're constantly touching them, putting them down on tables and then putting them to your face and then like touching your face. I don't know, it just freaks me out the amount of germs that are probably on your phone. So these are really, really handy. And yeah, I love them. I don't know if these are available to buy they actually sent me these but i'm sure you can get some similar off amazon i'll try find some link down below for you guys and then finally obviously i have my phone that actually wasn't in my bag because i was using it this case here is from casetify we can see it my reflection um it's really good because it's got a mirror and i'm constantly using this mirror i think if i didn't have this i probably would take around like a compact mirror or something um but obviously i don't need to with this and it's also got my name here across the front which is really cute did have a pop socket and i broke it because i sat on it um and i'm really missing it so i need to get another pop socket this one i just purchased off of amazon and then my phone background not that that's relevant but it's really cute look at my little cat and that is everything so just to show you the inside of the bag it's a really nice suede material it's got a little louis vuitton logo there and then this is the pocket here that i was talking to you guys about i just pop all of my stuff in but other than that it is just one big empty bag so i'm gonna pop everything back in my bag and show you how much room there is left because this is a mary poppins bag you can fit so much in and more okay so that is everything popped back in not that you can really see it but it is still only about three quarters of the way full i could fit in so much more if i wanted to like if i wanted to carry any extra makeup i don't normally carry makeup around with me apart from lip stuff um but i could if i wanted to if you think that i've missed something or there's something that you carry around that i should be carrying around then let me know because i would love to know what you guys carry around because i'm very nosy it's a good thing i didn't pick up the smaller version because that barely fit my phone in it and as you guys can see i carry around a lot with me i just like to be more safe than sorry and yeah this is just the perfect size bag anyway i am now going to head into central london to do a bit of shopping as i'm going to paris this weekend so yeah this is all packed and ready to come with me anyway guys that is the end of my what's in my bag video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really liked filming it it was just a really casual sit down chatting i always feel like when i'm sitting down at this i feel like i'm chatting to my friends so it always feels really nice and kind of intimate i guess please go and like subscribe leave a comment down below it means the absolute world to me and i love replying to you all i hope you have a lovely rest of the day and i will see you in my next video i love you all so 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 much bye